In this video, we're going to talk about the healer, a quote-unquote DPS, a tank and a buffer, all in one character, and that is Balloon Party. If you are somehow lucky enough to pull for Balloon Party, then congrats, you just get the best all-in-one support for a reality team. The thing that makes her the best, and the reason why I call her a DPS, is because of the buff that she provides. It is called Party Balloon, and this buff isn't limited to herself. If she or her allies got hit while carrying this buff, then the attacker will suffer 100% Balloon Party's reality death as a genesis damage. This buff is huge, because if your allies are carrying this buff, and the enemy hits with a mass attack, then the attacker will suffer a pretty good amount of damage, especially if your Balloon Party has a high reality death. Even passively, Balloon Party is a DPS. To get this buff for your allies is also simple. You just need her 2-star incantation health card. Her ultimate also grants it, which I'll talk about in a minute. Speaking of her health card, the mass heal she provides is extremely good because it heals your allies based on their lost HP. So the lower their HP is, the greater the heal will be. And casting this 2-star incantation card doesn't feel bad either because on top of getting the heal, your allies will also get the party balloon buff which means you won't lose any damage by using this card. Next, we move to her ultimate. Her ultimate is a mass attack. It has a pretty low multiplier, but a strong point from this skill would be the buffs. It grants your allies the party balloon and a balloon innocence buff for one stack. Balloon innocence buff give your allies a 25% damage reduction, and if the caster is attacked, then it will heal their HP based on their lost HP. So, even more heal for you. But it doesn't stop there. If she is carrying either of the set buff, then her attack incantation card will have a whooping 50% penetration. Now you might be wondering, oh, so I need to cast her to start hell card first before using her attack card then? Fortunately for you, you don't need to do that. Because at inside 1, at the start of the round, she will grant herself a party balloon buff. So it is pretty much a free 50% penetration for her attack card. Is she worth investing in? My answer would be definitely. Especially if you are planning to run a full reality team. The thing is, she provides a lot of stuff even at 0 per tray and level 1 inside. At inside level 2, she will get a plus 10% healing done, so even more heal for you there. And since her heal is based on the lost HP, you don't need to worry about her attack stat either. You can just build her bruiser with lots of reality death in her resonate. Lastly for her Psy cube, I'm using one that gives healing done boost for now. 